it's all about innovation in the business functions across business functions that's the key post covid yeah and uh, i'll be detailing out a very very strong and fundamental certain key bullet pointers and clarity for uh, when it comes to business principles business strategies to go ahead and help you in, in building a better business a better team and a scalable and a healthy business equally as well yeah so hi uh, hi this is avik and avik sir business coach and consultant equally as well and i'm in the mission right now to help business owners like you to build a better business and uh, with a team and a healthy and a scalable business equally as well yeah and uh, i am I'm also in the journey of uh, building a better business and helping you a better business and uh, helping you to grow a healthy and a scalable business equally as well so watch this video till the end because i'll be giving you tons of information and clarity way ahead sites uh, power pack and sites which for million dollar information and grab enough notes i mean the uh, one one idea can change the entire you know game changer for that matter in new business we had in 2020 yeah so watch it till the end and stay till the end because there's a surprise gift as well to the end of it if you stay till the end of it as well so that you can get the best benefit out of that and uh, and make the best you know advantage you could as well yeah so yes as i was sharing with you when it comes to building a better business and a healthy and scalable business i mean look post covid things has dramatically went ahead and taken an entire shape altogether uh, and predominantly we are now living in a world which is well known for the fact of digital wealth in today's day if you don't have a digital wealth with you as a business owner you are as good as uh, you know uh, they were uh, playing very high crash uh, in the, in your in your space for that matter so it doesn't matter you know how strong you are fundamentally when it comes to your operations or your you know your whole your product services of course those matters allow a lot as well when it comes to you know, the experience however what we are trying what i'm trying to share or help you understand is uh, the core understanding of uh, you know innovation across your functions so I will preferably discuss over here some specific case studies, which might help you to understand the the importance of innovation across functions. Okay, uh, so one of the key player which has majorly has given a strong shape and difference in the industry as well is uh, I mean when it comes to the the space of uh, disruption uh, is is definitely players like Amazon, Spotify. and stuff like that when it comes to segment of uh, you know segment when it comes to you know a, a different disruption altogether yeah uh, across industries every where every every player brands and players are coming up with their disruption so i'm just putting over here some of the few uh, or you know, the biggest ones in the names when it comes to or the, or the big fish in the names when it comes to you know dominating the market So when it comes to Amazon, yes, uh, you know it's a pretty given, defined fact that the entire innovation has been changed in terms when it comes to their their marketing and sales functions as such. So their sales inquiries or their sales way of sales inquiries have been changed completely when it comes to their business model. Yeah, and what they have done is predominantly they have changed their sales inquiry generating process. So initially it was like for Uh, any book publisher to get their orders it was all offline you know amazon understanding the market cap and the changes what they have done is they have created a mechanism where people or consumers can go online and then and they can order their books online at ease and convenience and at that cost effective equally as well getting the same product and same service at the doorstep right so think about it i mean why do people would go and even go to the biggest of the biggest library or institution for that matter to get the big publisher or the big author of their portfolio when they can easily find the same in a similar platform at a very convenient way and uh, sitting at their own home comfort at ease as well at the same price point yeah so that's that has been a has been a miracle disruption when it comes to industry like you know publishing industry or books industry and gone are those days right now if you go ahead and if you, if you visit in any of the biggest library or institute or for that matter any like 
bookshops, you know, offline, we are talking referring over here. You will find majority of them either has shut down or they have changed their business model. So what I mean by that, so it is primarily in the innovation and the sales and quality level where, you know, where you understand that where are your customers and uh, what are the means of reaching out to them and what value can you add when it comes to getting those inquiries from your customers, right? So I repeat, uh, so it's basically to understand where are your customers, what are the ways that you can reach out to them and what basic immense you know, value that you can add to uh, attract to them, to reach out to them and bring those inquiries back to you, yeah? So that's, that's a very fundamental shift in the sales process to creating those generating and inquiries. And indeed, which with that, there has been, has been a tremendous shift in the industry as well. They haven't given a stop to there as well. Then they have came up with their other functions or when it comes to the uh, sales in, and uh, delivery channels innovations. So they have also brought up the, 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 the ideation or the execution of Kindle for that matter, which has been a tremendous hit when it comes to again, inquiry of sales process and getting the conversion equally as well. They have also been able to draw it very successfully or, or also in the mode of changing it to the name next level when it comes to the delivery channel for that matter, which has more to do with drone that they're already executing in some experimentation level and probably it will be launching phase soon as well. And, uh, and, and then followed by the fact, uh, you know, most more, more categorically is, uh, is uh, there, there are other, other level of innovation and services, which, is, which, has, which has more to do in any context with, uh, in any context with their uh, uh, innovation services, which is more to do with, uh, uh, you know, with, with, uh, with reference to their sales channel, uh, which is again to bring the innovation on the table, okay? So, so in this case, I'm referring over here, the new product that they have, they came up, which is Alexa for that matter, where it, you even need, don't need to go to the site or refer to it, you just, you know, order it to Alexa and Alexa will do the best for you as well. So what I mean by that, if you typically understand all these levels that have been mentioned so far, these are nothing but the way that there has been a disruption in the sales and inquiry generating process and uh, the delivery channel generating process. So that's the whole disruption and for which the entire business profitability or you know, the next level movement has gone to a different tangible movement altogether. So it's definitely not operations. You know, operations is just a value and a happiness to customer. It's nothing more than that. But it has, but the larger picture or the more bigger aspects lies when it comes to you know, understanding those key disruption area and functions and innovations areas and function where your business can take a game changer where, yeah. My question comes back to you as a business owner, what is your thought in terms of takeaways and learnings? And how are you thinking in terms of changing your sales and quality generating process, making a, making a shift or pattern to it? Or is there any other way that you can bring a change in other area of functions of in your business like marketing, uh, I and mean, like uh, you know, management or for that matter, maybe open operations, yeah. So think about it and uh, and explore and see how this has also given an immense way and added value to your, to your entire process for that matter. Okay, so the next case study, which I would again add it on the similar dotted line and which might be again uh, a very strong way to understand how, how innovation is the game changer in 2022. You know, especially in a situation and era like post COVID, where what is it that you can do? Even there are like 10 times uh, such situations continue. Okay. So, uh, well, we have faced with such sort of severity or such sort of, uh, such sort of calamity where, I mean, where, where it's a threat to any business function for that matter. But as a business, can you really stop for the moment? Can you really stop? forever no absolutely not so which means every threat comes with an with an opportunity so what is the opportunity that you have been able to make a modification in your business which will help you to bring those innovations in your business across functions whether it has to do with sales and quality generation whether it has to do with your with your lead inquiry generation which has more to do with the marketing aspect side of it whether it has to do with value to happiness to clients and customers, which is more to do in terms of building your team's effectiveness, 
or whether it has to do with the with the management side of it, which has which is again more to do with clear direction, clear role goals, alignments, and understanding and execution as well. So 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 the reason behind it is to is to help you understand that think over it again and again and understand that which are these areas where you can drastically you know and bring an innovation in area of functions and which can give you give a tenx or, or a different momentum altogether in your business growth and help you to leverage and scale up your business equally as well. Uh, so I give you another case studies as well, which might help you to understand equally as well, like I was sharing as well, which is uh, more to do with the industry of you know sound, uh, music and sound and CD, you know audio as such. So you might you might as a business owner, you might be aware that you know gone are those days uh, when we used to listen to CD and uh, those tape recorders and players, and where the entire music industry used to run on such products and services. In today's day, if you if you look at it, uh, we find different you know dimension and angle of music industry, which is a, a, a different innovation at this point of time. It has more to do with uh, you know platforms like Spotify and others as such. Yeah. So how does it happen, and how does it exist as well? So like I mentioned, that every business functions or business model stands at specific from business functions. So what is it that they have done? It's so specific. So when the burning era was about to ex exhaust, you know, when it comes to music industry, when it was hitting very hard on the ground, and when where where we find that those inquiries were not making healthy conversion and healthy functions profitable. That was the time that uh, you know Apple brought the next level of innovation, which was more to do with the downloading a single file of song and you pay for it. So it is not that you have to pay for the entire song, which was typically in the case of uh, the CD player and audience as such. It is more in terms of uh, whatever products and services or whatever song you are paying, you know, you are listening to, you pay for that. You know, it has more to do with downloading with this Apple iPod, tune, uh, you know, which which came as the next generation of innovation. But guess what? That all that also had came up with some limitations after a span of time. It was observed and tested that it was not giving enough of uh, you know inquiry generation you know happening i mean there was a lot of issues happening in terms of the technicalities of the products and services which has more to do with the downloading of the song and stuff like that yeah and when when all those happens then typically the ratio of conversion of consumer experience start start falling down that's where the next level of innovation again came in the picture where platforms like Spotify came in the picture and they started leveraging the market stating that, you know, customer listen to free tunes and, uh, you know, uh, basis that the free ads gets, uh, uh, gets linked uh, to their, to their portfolios. And accordingly, you know, people, when they listen, advertiser, advertisers gets paid for it. Okay. And, and, and that, that becomes a new, a uh, model disruption for that matter, you know, after Apple. However, that also becomes, uh, you know, uh, went to a certain stage and become uh, limitations as well, wherein they couldn't, they couldn't uh, generate enough inquiries or sales inquiries after a certain span of time, uh, because those ads were not getting frequently distributed and it was a major service issue for that matter. So what really came up, Spotify came up with the final version of uh, with with uh, with a disruption or innovation in the industry, is uh, is is a matter of fact that uh, it was more to do with the uh, uh, with the free free me premium services. So which is which is more a combination of both paid product services and free free services as well. Wherein these uh, free tunes were being listed on their platform and when clients and customer used to listen to their trails as well. So the ads were get gets to get equally distributed to different artists and the other stakeholders who are already aligned in the ecosystem. And that's where it become a major hit as well. And then the rest is all story where we all know in today's day, Spotify is the biggest platform when it comes to music and sound industry for that matter. So what I'm trying to reflect over here is a very simple understanding that unless you bring this innovation in your business functions, whether it has to do with the sales inquiry, whether it has to do with your, you know, uh, lease inquiry, whether it has to do with your operations, disruption is the next game changer. 
And if you're still thinking about your cash flow, if you're still thinking the day to day survival, if you're still thinking on the ground that uh, uh, your profitability statement is not looking green, uh, so high time that uh, you need a, 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 an execution of a mentor or a coach or a way a business, done, you know, a next level business strategy, which will help you to understand and get those things in place and have a clear clarity and direction of your business game altogether. Understand one thing, business is completely a science. And uh, every aspect of business and every dimension of business is a science altogether. If you just try to do it, you know, the way that it has been happening for 10, 20 years, it will possibly not going to work out. Because uh, in, in 20 years back, when your ancestors as a business owner used to operate their business, uh, you know, from their perspective, right? The markets were different. The, the, the dynamics were different. Different. The uh, the context were different. The dimension, demo geography was different. The end consumers was different. Their approach was different. In today's date, everything has changed. And if you're still looking back and thinking on the same table, and you're trying to generate a next level uh, scalable model, it never going to happen. It's just just it's just a matter of getting into this relearning mode and understand the true science of business and making it happen one more time once you get the full idea of that. So I'm sure this video has given you enough food for thought and I have detailed out two, three aspects or two, three functions of business and uh, how the disruption has changed, you know, leading industries in the market and or innovation has changed leading industries in the market. And, uh, how, how best you can apply or you can take such learnings and apply you know, um, innovations in different functions of your business for that matter. So, so, so that's, that's the whole brief understanding. So I'm sure this has given enough food for thought for you to take the ball game way ahead as well. Yeah? So do share your comment, do share your learning and do share the fact that how, how this video has helped you to understand the concept of innovation. And it's, 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 it's not that, you know, being the NASA scientist of the uh, of the era, stuff, stuff like that. Innovation has more to do with addressing the burning problem of the business and finding out those hardcore possibilities by going through the richness of the journey and exploring to the level that you can to get the solution optimum on the table. Yeah. So listen to this video again and again, and uh, and make sure that uh, you subscribe and like what channels as well, so that you keep notifying such power pack video information at your end so that uh, you get the best out of it equally as well. Yeah. And uh, basis which uh, there is also a link which I have shared below as well. So to help you get more such power pack videos and to help you get more such burning issue of the business gets problem gets addressed. I've also shared you a, a download with a link of telegram and, uh, uh, and, and also a link for uh, for uh, for the gift that I have mentioned you, uh, so if you stay till the end, then you will get that. So here is the gift. Since you stay till the end, so you can see there's a link which is shared below, uh, which has shared the the true scientific way say, essence of building a high performance team, and uh, way ahead journey of building a scalable business. If you really want more such power pack videos, so I would pref I would I would uh, prefer you to download that link as well. So once you download that and fill up your details, so you'll start getting more such power pack, uh, you know, crisp, clear insight way ahead whenever there are, uh, whenever there are such power pack launches happening, uh, you know, when it comes to the context of business. So till then, uh, do sign up in the Telegram channel and uh, sign up in the video equally as well. Uh, so generally the one that I have shared with the link, it was around 5,000 rupees worth in the marketplace. But since till you have stayed till the end, so you are getting this absolutely free of cost. So till then, uh, get the best out of it and do subscribe and like the channel as well. Uh, Avik here signing off as of now. We'll look forward for the next video equally as well when it comes to uh, the game changer or the way ahead journey of your business in 2022 yeah so till then take care have a wonderful day to all take care bye, -bye.